Hey guys, I'm Rosh Afin. Welcome to my kitchen. I was gonna make um, a smoothie, so I thought I'll just show you guys um, how I'm making it. Ingredients I'm using, um, you know what, I'm just gonna talk through it while I cut it as well. Hello, John Kotner. Okay, so um, mango. It's quite funny, I had another mango and then I was like, I cut it and then it was spoiled, so I thought, oh, I'll use another mango. So I'm gonna be, it needs to be fresh. I'm just standing up because I get a better angle here. Um, really simple, just cutting the mango like that. Um, if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, please follow me on Instagram. Um, if you uh, do like me on Facebook as well, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also smash that notification bell, so you'll be the first to get notifications from me when I upload videos. I try and upload daily videos, yeah. Uh, why is the light behind on? I forgot to turn off the light. Oh well, never mind. Um, yeah, so... Hello Kim Fabi. Hello Vegan Fiji, yeah. We're just making like a super simple smoothie. Um, this has, it's quite a fruity smoothie and I'm also going to put in some superfoods as well. I realize that it's not in the picture on Instagram. Yeah. John Cohort, how about trying magic mushrooms? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Which mushrooms are you referring to? And also I wanted to tell you guys that um, I'm going to be conducting a free Zoom class this Sunday teaching you how to make my chocolate fudge from my book this book, I don't know if you guys can see it from this book so um, remember to sign up for remember to sign up for the my e-newsletter and then you will get the link i'll send out the link tomorrow okay so let me put this in um this is a variation of a smoothie i made for chef dave and mr jazz guitarist um i wanted to make the same thing then i realized like the, the smoothie i made the last time had pineapple and i don't have pineapple this time so um i'm just gonna use I've decided I'll use a star fruit instead. Yeah, so okay. I'm trying to figure out like how can I make this happen very fast. Uvarajan, hello Uvarajan, good to see you. Yeah. Um, and then this time I'm putting in the the superfoods as well because I have them. <laughs> yeah, hello Asamat. Hello Ipikon Kukaman. Yeah. Hello Sharon Chia. Is there a signed copy of the book we can get? Uva, I you know what? Um Uva, when we did the uh, photo shoot, which was in July, there was plan for a book launch um during the book fest because Popular actually does like a very um they do a large book fest. Uh but uh, and this was supposed to happen in, I think, December or something? December, November. It was supposed to happen in Singapore and um, Malaysia as well. But, unfortunately, because of the situation right now, we can't do the book fest. Yeah, which means we can't do the book tour, unfortunately. Yeah, so this is a star fruit. I don't know whether, for those not in Malaysia or Asia, have you seen it before? Um, yeah. It's something I remember my grandfather actually had a star fruit tree. I'm trying to try, um you know what? You could actually cut it like this, then it'll look like nice stars. You know. Yeah. But I might I'm not sure. I might you know what? Yeah, I think I'll just cut it like that. Because I'm just like my nutri bullet the the blades are not working very well. Yeah, but you do need to take out the seeds because there are seeds and my 
my blades might not work very well so I may um, I think I'm gonna cut it the other way so that I can remove the seeds easily yeah Nor Hayati Chong Yi Fong Hi Podicom Hello the vegan Han and hello Lavani Selvam so yeah I used to make a lot of smoothies when I was um, when I first started going raw, I ate a, I made a lot of smoothies. Like every morning, I would have a smoothie. Nowadays, uh, I'm a bit lazy. I just make eat my bananas. Yeah, yeah. But I thought today I'll make one. Yeah. So if you cut it lengthwise, then you don't have to worry about the seeds. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna cut it into smaller pieces so that. My blender doesn't have to worry too much about it. Okay, so we're putting that in. Um, yeah, that goes in. That goes in as well. And then uh, the third one is a orange. So when I first started making smoothies, I used to. I used to do the ratio of like, yeah, three kinds of fruits and one cup of green, one cup of greens. Yeah, so that's kind of what I'm doing today, although my basil is not that much green because um, it's just, yeah, I'm just putting a bit because I don't want the basil to overpower everything else. Jess, Jessin, is it Jessin? How do you spell, pronounce that? Yeah. So it goes in. Yeah, I didn't really plan this live. Well, I did. I kind of thought like, oh, I should do a live today, because I know I wanted to make this. Well, I was half wondering whether I wanted to make a salad. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, um, so what do you guys eat today? Any any vegan food? Um, feel free to type in and let me know what you had today. Uh, is your water back yet? My water is back. So, I don't know, but I'm a bit like, oh, is it going to go away again? Because last time the water came back for a while and then after that it stopped again. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I don't want to put too much into my blender. Okay, I think I'm going to stop here. Maybe I'll make a second batch later. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost ready to make a second batch later. So don't worry, these are not going to go to waste. Um, I'm going to put the bezel in as well. So this is the bezel from the Farm Asia. Later, I'll show you what is... What... Um, other leaves they gave me. Oh yeah, this I plucked from the garden. These are neem leaves. Yeah, so um, these are very very bitter. But I'm used to eating a lot of bitter stuff because I used to suffer from eczema before I became raw vegan. And I used to have to eat like loads of bitter stuff so I'm so used to it. Um, yeah, and then now I've become raw vegan, my eczema has completely cured, which is why I'm so... Um, I'm so I really believe in the power of raw vegan. Okay, um, let me just put in. Since I have this pumpkin protein from Organicule, I thought I'll put it in as well into the smoothie. So this is from Organicule Superfoods. You can get it at organicule.com, and uh, this is how the pumpkin protein looks like. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put one tablespoon in. And if you use my discount code CHEFGIN, C-H-E-F-Y-I-N, you will get 10% savings. Yeah, so remember to use it when you order online. I'm also going to put in the baobab powder. So, um, this is the bao baobab powder. I like it because it tastes a bit like... Um, is tangy and um, it tastes like or orange tomato that kind of thing and I like that kind of flavor so I'm putting this in as well 
Um, if you're wondering what it is, the baobab tree is Africa's iconic tree of life, native to African savanna. It is a symbol of life and positivity in a landscape where little can thrive. Can thrive. So this fruit is sustainably harvested from the wild and um, it's got high levels of vitamin C antioxidants, calcium, magnesium, potassium, dietary fibers, and prebiotics as well. And this is a raw certified organic baobab powder. So everybody's talking about how we need um, antioxidants right now. Yeah. So I'm going to put in one teaspoon of that in as well. Okay, just here. Cover it. And then uh, for the liquid, usually I just use water or, um, well it depends. Sometimes I use uh, water and hemp hearts. But because I have my snappy milk with me, which is my pea milk, so I'm going to use this. Hello, Eula goes raw. Hello, Ewok. Hello, Macy. Hello, Esli. So that goes in. Okay, that's enough. Yep. Alrighty. So I'm going to close this. I hope this one works. My other blade <laughs> needs changing. The thing about the Nutribullet is they told me like I need to change it every 6 to 12 months. I'm like, 6 to 12 months? Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> nice I think the mango goes very well with the basil 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 and mmm yeah cool and I taste the orange as well and a bit of the stuffer as well nice Okay, I just wanted to show you um, the microgreens from the Farm Asia since they did a fresh delivery today. And this is what I have. Um, that's the purple radish. They also have this is the coriander. This is sample. I had it last week as well. It was really, really nice. Yeah. Hello, slide Skylark KKK. And then they have the red Mizuna, which doesn't look very red. <laughs> yeah. I love using the red Mizuna. And there's also the spearmint. Ooh, I'm quite interested. Spearmint is something new. Let me check it out. Yeah, this is how it looks like. Let me taste it. I haven't tasted it yet. Mm. It'll go nice in the drink as well. I think this would go really nice in like cocktails and all that. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be quite cool. Right there. And then, um, that, oh, there's also the purple basil and the edible flowers. Oh, I've seen this before. This is like, um, this is Selassie, right? Is this Selassie? Yeah. I should check with them if this is the Selassie. Which, if it is, then it's the Tosi. Yeah, new stuff. And then um, there's also the green Mizuna. Yeah. And there is the mustard greens. 
and there is also the sunflower shoots and the pea shoots yeah so yeah i'm going to show you that um also one last thing i am going to be doing a free zoom session this sunday at 11 30 in the morning um and i'm going to be demonstrating a recipe from my book it will be guess what guess what does anybody want to guess <laughs> yeah um not this one i almost said this one actually this i might do this tomorrow on um a live um Let me see if I can show you this one more day. Give me. Ah, here. This one. This one. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the chocolate and jackfruit fudge. I need to see where. Well, it's going to be a chocolate fudge. So if anybody's interested, um, do subscribe to my e-newsletter. And um, yeah, I'll be sending out the link on Friday, which is tomorrow, on Saturday and on Sunday as well. So you can attend it. Um, it's a free Zoom session. You just need to sign up for my daily e-newsletter. Hello, TSW Trust Process. Um, so yeah, to recap, what I used was um, mango, orange, starfruit, snappy, um, baobab powder, and... A bit of pumpkin protein powder as well since I had these with me and then I used the uh, microgreens from the farm Asia so microgreens from the farm Asia you can order from yeah website as well yeah if anybody wants in Klein Valley hello crave ganache I'm about to end actually um, I just did a summary of my smoothie yeah does anybody have any questions Everybody's very quiet. <laughs> no questions? Oh yeah, and I put in a bit of um, the neem leaf as well. Just because I plucked it from my garden. Um, okay, if no questions, then I will end here now. And um, yeah, if, those, if you're watching... Oh, I was supposed to say this. If you're watching live, please type hashtag live. And if you're watching a replay, just type hashtag replay, but no, maybe the next time. Well, if you're watching the replay, you can do that. Yeah. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on Zoom. Um, sign up for my e-newsletter for that. And um, yeah, I'm most probably doing a live tomorrow actually. So I might just see you guys tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow on the live here. Craig Ganesh, yeah, you're a bit late. <laughs> Sorry, unless you want to watch me like, um, I don't know, like peel mouth orange. <laughs> you you can watch the replay, I suppose. Yeah, I don't I don't set a time when I'm coming on because it stresses me if I tell people like, oh, I'm coming on and I can't, you know, I can't turn up on time. But although um, my Sunday lives, yeah, there's there, there's a fixed timing when I'm coming in, yeah. But yeah, most probably um. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, because I didn't put all the orange in because I was scared that my, my blender cannot take it because this is not a, like, yeah, a full speed blender. This one can, but I was like too malas, too lazy to watch this one. So I thought I'll just use this one instead, but this works, so yeah. Hello, Listinia. Thanks for joining. Uh, I guess we have to watch the replay because I'm going to sign off now. All right. Craig, do you see a uh, Craig Ganesh, Do you see my book? I have a book. I have a print book. Yeah, this is gonna be out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be out in a month. It's gonna be at Popular Bookstore. It's gonna be at MPH Bookstore. It's gonna be at Kino Kunia, um, and Harris as well in Malaysia. And then in Singapore, it's gonna be available in, um, at Popular Bookstores in Singapore. And then for international shipping, we will be arranging that. I'll let you guys know once I have the details on that. Yeah. 
Alrighty, now I really will go. Thanks again for watching. Remember, animals are friends, not food. Hey, CK Sim. Uh, I just finished the thing so you can watch the replay, CK. Bye. And in that review.